Hi, okay, so welcome back Slayer. Are you ready to slay SEA? And today we are going to be looking at the number concept, unequal sharing. Now this could be a bit of a tricky topic because it's a multi-step worded, multi worded problem and most, most students sometimes they see it and they get flustered. So today we're going to go through it, we're going to review it before you attempt some possible questions together with me and remember you could pause the video at any time so when i um write the possible questions on the board you could pause the video and you could try to work it out and then check back my ex my explanation for it and then you could go to attempt the crash course test in unequal sharing and then you can look at the video with the results after so let's get into unequal sharing so the first thing about unequal sharing it's a multi-step. So the basic steps are step one, add all unequal amounts. So the first step is to add. Now, if there's only like two and there's only one unequal amount, then you will omit this and you just start from step two. Step two, you subtract subtract on equal amounts step three you divide or you find the average and you know average will be total over number so you'll divide by the numbers that you're trying to find out. And then depending on the course, depending on the sub sorry, depending on the question, you may need a step four where you find where you add back, sorry, the unequal amount. So what is the difference between step three and step four? When you divide the total by the number, this answer here will give you the amount um, that the person received. What's the difference between step 3 and step 4? Well, this answer gives you the person who receives the lesser amount. So this is the lesser amount. And this one would be the person who receives the greater amount or has the greater value. Okay. So now that we have cleared up these steps, let's apply these steps by going through some passive questions. So for 2017's paper, question 25, Jada is 9 years old. The sum of her parents' age is the square of Jada's age. Her father is 11 years older than her mother. How old is Jada's mother? So the first thing you need to do when you see a sum like this is identify the topic. So this topic is unequal sharing. Why? Because you have two quantities and clearly one is more than the other and it is adding up to a particular sum. Now we're going to work this out step by step. Every bit of information is one line of statement. So we have Jada. Um, Jada's age is equal to nine years, right? The sum of her parents' age is the square of Jada's age. So the sum of her parents' age is equal to nine by nine, which is equal to 81 years old. This is where we get into the unequal sharing part. Her father is 11 years older than her mother. How old is Jada's mother? So let's go through these steps. We're going to add up all the unequal amounts. This is step one. But in this case, we only have two um, values that we are working with. And we only have one unequal amount. So there's nothing to add up. But in this case, you can identify what is the unequal amount. So we have 11 years. Step two, subtract unequal amounts. So, 
Jera's mother's age is equal to first step. We're going to subtract the unequal amount. So we have 81 minus 11, which is 70. We go to this step. Divide, or we find the average. So we're going to divide 70 by the number of persons, which is 2 in this case, which is equal to 35. Now, this is where we get here. So the answer here is the lesser value or the lesser amount. And since Jada's mother is younger than Jada's father, the sum stops here. So Jada's mother's age is equal to 35 years old. But whenever you are working with unequal sharing and you have a little time, it is always best for you to work backwards to see if your sum is going to work out. So let's just continue for continuing sake. So let's find out how, how old is her father. So we're going to add back the unequal amount, which is 11, and we get 46. So Jada's father is 46 years old. Let's see if 46 and 35, which is her father and mother's age, is this equal to the sum, the um, square of her age, right? So we have 46 plus 35. 6 and 5 is 11. 4 and 3 is 7 and 1 is 8. And you see that we added this back and we got the 81 here. So we know that 81 is the square of 9. So we know for sure that our answer is correct. We did everything correct and we got 35 for her mother's age. So for in the 2011 paper, question 30 is another example of unequal sharing. And it goes, it says, the combined weight of Jane and her sister, Nora, is 51.4 kilograms. If Jane is 5.6 kilograms heavier than Nora, how much does Nora weigh? So let's go. Well, we only have two persons being compared, so we don't have to add up any unequal amounts, so we can identify the unequal amount, which is this. Step two, subtract the unequal amount. So the combined weight... Is equal to 51.4 kilograms. We subtract the unequal amount, which is 5.6. 14 minus 6 is 8. 10 minus 5 is 5. We bring down our 4. 45.8 kilograms. Next step, find the average. So in this case, we divide by 2. Now you notice that I'm continuing my workings in the same order as the steps and i hope that you can adopt this approach if you haven't already done this so that you will always remember the steps so we say 2 into 4 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 5 divided by 2 is equal to 2 remainder 1 2 into 18 is 9 22.9 kilograms this so this is the lesser weight which is Nora. So Nora weighs and is equal to 22.9 kilograms. Alright, so we know that. But remember I told you that whatever you're doing unequal sharing, if you want to double check your double check your answer, you can just continue to work it out. So let's just continue to find out just by the way now this again. This extra is not needed for the sum, but I just want to help you revise the topic, right? So let's go on to step four now where we add back the unequal amount so if we were to add back the unequal amount we would get 9 plus 6 is 5 15 5 plus 2 is 7 and 1 8 2 right so we would see that jane weighs 28.5 kilograms and if we want to add it back we will say 28.5 plus 22.9 9 and 5 is 4 8 and 2 is 10 and 1, 11, 24 and 1 is 5. So you'll see that we get back to 54, 51.4 kilograms. So again, I just want to go, just want to remind you that in this sum, it stopped here when we found out Nora's weight. Okay, but if this sum 
I'll ask you to find Jane's weight, then you need to go through all the steps. So again, we identify the unequal amounts. We subtracted the unequal amount. We found the average or we divided by the number of persons to get the person who weighs less. If you had to find the person who weighs more, you add back the unequal amount and you'll get the person. So let's see if we can do one more. So the, the third possible question we're going to look at today in under unequal sharing is from 2006 paper number 28. Read with me. $75 is shared among three winners. The first place winner gets $5 more than the second place winner. The second place winner gets $5 more than the third place winner. How much does the first place winner get? So I was so happy to go through this with you because you get to see all the steps in unequal sharing together. So remember the first step is to add up all unequal amounts, right? So we're going to put them all together. So we have first, second, third. Now we don't know how much each person gets, but we know that we're working with a value. So we know that let's start from the third place because he would get less right so we don't know his value so we could say that his number is a box or if you want you could use the letter x it's whichever one you want to use right i'm comfortable working with the letter x but i can also illustrate it in the form of a box so you know that the second place winner gets more than the third place winner so we could say is he gets box plus five or x plus five okay the first place winner gets more than the second place winner. So he gets the box plus 5, which is the same as the second place, plus 5 more. Or if you are accustomed with x, x plus 5 plus 5, which is equal to x plus 10. Or in this case, box plus 10. Right? It doesn't matter which one you want to use, right? So stay with me. I hope you're up to here. Let's go on now. We want to go through step one, add up all the unequal amounts. So we're going to add up 10 and 5 and we get 15. Now we'll see that we have three boxes. So you have three boxes or box plus box plus box plus 15 is equal to 75. Or if you're working it the other way, it's going to be 3x plus um. 15 is equal to 75. Now, I'm going to continue working here so you can see my explanation properly. Okay. So, the first thing we want to do is we need to... So, we sub, we add up all the unequal amounts and we got 15, 15. Next step, we subtract the unequal amounts. So, we're going to say 75 minus 15, which is equal to 60. So, we're here. Step 2. Step 3 find the average so we divide by 3 and we get 20 so this 20 is actually going to be the value of the box or if you use x so we're going to change this now so i'm going to take this and i'm going to actually change my marker so hold on stay with me so this now becomes 20 this becomes 20 this becomes 20 now that we have substituted the value which we, which we found when we used the unequal sharing method, we could solve. So the question asks you to find out how much the first place winner gets. So the first place winner gets 20 plus 5 plus 5 or 20 plus 10 which is equal to 30. So 20 plus 10 which takes us to the last one. Add back the unequal amount. So he gets $30. Now remember, I said we don't always stop there because you always want to check back your answer. It doesn't, it doesn't take long to check back your answer. So the second place winner would have gotten 20 plus 5, which is 25. And let's add up, let's add them all up now. So we have 30 plus 25 plus 20. So 5 plus 0 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, and 2 is 7. So you see, we got back our original amount, 75. And that's how we know our answer is correct so this wraps up our crash course concepts in unequal sharing and i hope this helps to clear up any misconceptions you would have had about this topic as always we end and begin with a prayer so we just want to give god thanks 
As we say together our prayer in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We are under the blood of the Lamb, safe and secured from Satan's plan. No weapon formed against us shall stand, for we are under the blood of the Lamb. Amen. In the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So, there you go. I hope you are now ready to slay SEA. And remember, if you want more information, I'll be working with you step by step throughout this throughout your whole SEA prep process. You can log in to slaysea.com, check the description link below. And if you don't want to purchase the course, you can still enroll and you won't want to miss some amazing, amazing content we're going to be uploading on our course pretty soon. So, bye for now.